Hello, my name is Dwayne Bland. Welcome to NSDA. Today I've got a couple quick tips on how to help your players become better at puck control. When players are skating with speed with the puck, oftentimes we'll see players with the puck way out in front of their body, which is fine if they're getting away from a player, they've got someone on their back and they've got to push that puck. So what I mean is a lot of times players are carrying the puck here. So if you're attacking the, the, the blue line, you're coming in the blue line and attacking the O zone, whether you're a defense or a forward, and you're carrying the puck here, you're limiting your options. So your options now are a lateral pass or a lateral backhand pass, right? If you carry that puck on the side a little bit more, so on your hip, now you've got much more options. Now you can still sling it on the forehand, so you can still make that pass on the forehand. You can make a pass on the backhand, but now you're also a shooting threat or a dump in threat or, or a lot of different threats. So as for a, a defender, it's a lot harder to defend a player in here than it is to have a player with their puck out there. So as a coach, if we can help our players try to underhandle. So if I say underhandle, what I'm talking about is not getting them chopping broccoli, being really over and back, over and back, over and back, over and back, but having them just push that puck. So if I'm coming in, I'm attacking on the blue line, let's say, I'll go from up here. So if I'm coming in up here and I'm attacking the ozone, when I have my puck up here like this, right, and I'm under a little bit of pressure, if I'm under pressure by that D-man, let's say it's a two on two or even a three on two, I'm limiting my options here. But if I come in and I can attack here like this and keep my puck on my hip here, now I'm an option to shoot, pass, do a lot of different things. So I'm a lot more deceptive and have a lot more options with the puck in a strong spot. Right, I can cut back with it, I can make drop pass, I can do a lot of different things. With the puck out here, anything I want to do with the puck, I got to make a move to do it. Meaning if I want to drop pass, I got to pull it back and then move it. Right? Or I got to put it through my feet. Right? Or lateral passes are fine. If I want to shoot, I gotta bring it back to shoot. So keep that in mind as you're working with your players, just keeping that puck in a strong spot, trying to underhandle it so now they can make a quick play without getting caught handling the puck. And just being in a strong position to always be able to make a play. That strong position, so on our forehand can be here or it could be on our backhand. Again, if I'm out here, I gotta make a move to get the puck to my backhand. I gotta handle that puck. If I'm already here, now I can make a chip, I can make a dump, I can shoot it. So if I'm attacking on the blue line on this side as a lefty, Coming in here, maybe I have pressure on this side. Now I'm here. I could chip it, I could shoot it, I could drive the net with it. But again, if I'm out front under pressure, now it's a lot easier for that D to get a stick on puck or push me one way or the other. So keep that in mind, coaches, as you're working with your players, just trying to keep that puck in a strong position. Being comfortable with that puck being around your body here. And as you're skating, especially attacking zones or attacking defense, defensemen or forwards in the, in the offensive zone, Try not to carry too far forward out here. Try to keep it in a strong position so it's protected and you can make quick plays with that puck. The more we as coaches can help our players make strong plays, so keeping that puck in a strong position to make a pass or a shot or a chip or dumping the puck in, the better our players are going to be and the better plays are going to make. So the more we can get away from those inefficiencies and some of the details that we see that maybe aren't going to help them make good plays, the better our players are going to be. So as a coach, it's important that we hit on those little pain points and make sure that we're helping our players improve, obviously, and being aware of what they're doing with their stick and puck, especially when they're attacking the offensive zone and trying to make plays to create scoring chances. All right, thanks again. Thanks a lot for checking in.